So this particular problem starts with a quadrilateral. We have a quadrilateral, let's say A, B, maybe like C and D. Uh, this is not necessarily a parallelogram or a square or a anything like that. It's a normal general quadrilateral. And we mark two points P and Q. So let's call this P and this call this Q. We mark two points on AB and CD such that AP by AB is equal to CQ by CD. AP by AD, a, 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 AB is equal to CQ by CD. This is also given data. All right. Now we want to show that AQB. Okay, let's join first AQB and CPD. We want to show that these two green parts adds up to this white part in area. In this particular video, we will learn two things. One, how to use vectors to solve uh, area or geometry related problems. So vectors are very powerful tools. That's number one. Number two, we will learn how to use the carpet strategy in the case of quadrilaterals. In our previous video and also in our regular Maths Olympiad lectures, we have talked about how to use carpet strategy in the case of a triangle. Many of you have learned it already. If you have not, don't worry, in this video we will learn about that as well. We will quickly review that. Our goal is to show that the white part is equal to the green part in area. Now, I will translate this information in terms of vectors. Not because I really need to do it, because this will show how to use vectors in the context of geometry problems effectively. So, let me tell you quickly what I mean by the word vector. Now in, in your school if you have studied physics or some parts of mathematics you may have studied vectors as quantities which has both direction and magnitude. That's right but more specifically in our context vector will be just a coordinate. So if I draw the x and y coordinate system this is x-axis and this is y-axis then the vector 1 comma 2 is just this arrow which is also represented by the point 1 comma 2 starting at the origin O. Okay, So we can call this vector as A. Now suppose there is another vector which is P, which is maybe 3 comma 4, so like this, A, P and then B, so this, this is 3 comma 4 and then we have another one which is B, which is in the same straight line, that means the slope has to be the same, the slope has to be the same, so I'll just make it, so what is the slope of AP? slope of AP it's 4 minus 2 divided by 3 minus 1 which is 2 by 2 which is 1 so I'll just make it like that so 4 minus let's call it Y so this is Y and this is X suppose and this is 3 minus X this has to be equal to 1. So I just cross multiply. So 4 minus y equals to 3 minus x or x minus y equals to negative 1. So we can take x and y like that. 
So maybe we can take x equals to 6, y equals to 7. Why not? So this is 6, this is 7. So 7 minus, so you see how I'm constructing this. This is precisely how you can make up scenarios in geometry. So this is 7 minus 4 by 6 minus 3. So this is 3 over 3, which is 1. Perfect. So we have three points in the same straight line. So they have the same slope. And these three are the three vectors. This is the vector A. This is the, <coughs> this is the vector P. And this is the vector B. So one of the things that we will be doing is to bring down a vector to the origin. So what do I mean by that? So maybe I can draw it one more time. So this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. And if this is A, this is P, and this is B, I want to bring down this particular segment let's call it a segment you can also call it a vector a b starting at a and ending at b i want to bring it down to the origin so to do that i'll be using the parallelogram law of vector addition so what do i mean by that okay so i will construct a parallelogram maybe i can use a different color i'll construct a parallelogram like this And I will be trying to find this particular point. So let me join this one as well. These two points. Let me find out these two points. So this two question mark point plus A is equal to B. Right? That's the way vector addition works. The two question mark point plus A is equals to B. That's a parallelogram law of vector addition. So this particular point happens to be B minus A. Similarly, what can you tell me what is this particular point? The first question mark point. You can put a comment in the description and tell me what would be the first question mark point. Well, it is P minus A. Great. So what that, does this uh, condition say? That AP over AB is equal to CQ over CD. It's giving the ratio of the lengths. It's giving the ratio of the lengths. Suppose this ratio is K, the constant, whatever it is, maybe it is 5, who knows. So, of course, AP is smaller, maybe it's 1 over 5. So, the ratio of the length of AP with AB is equal to the ratio of length of CQ with CD and suppose that's K, some constant K. So this is P minus A is equal to some constant times B minus A. The way you should think about it that you are shrinking this particular vector to P minus A by if k is 1 5, 1 over 5, then you are shrinking it 5 times. So, maybe p minus a is 2 comma uh, 1 and maybe b minus a is 10 comma 5 and then if you multiply by 1 5, 1 over 5, then this is what you get. I'm just giving you a scenario about how it will work. So P minus A is equals to constant times B minus A. That's coming from this particular condition. So what do we have? Well, we have P minus A is equals to K times B minus K times A. So what we have P is equals to K times B plus 1 minus K times A. Great. So we have the first piece of equation. Now your job, put a comment in the description with it, that find Q equals to scale ti something times C 
plus something times d in this picture so, so this is this is cq by cd so you can bring this segment cd to the origin just like i did it did for ab so bring cq to the or cd to the origin and find out the value of q in terms of c d and this constant k put that in the comment in the description and in the next video we will say how to figure out this green part is equal to the white part using the method of vectors and using that advanced carpeting strategy for quadrilaterals okay i'll see you in the next one take care